Hi, I'm Obi the All Seen Camera. We are back to the channel with another one. Today we got some Polo G2 React to. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. You right. <coughs> 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 ever took a <coughs> big ass hit before? <coughs> Pause. <coughs> cough, swallow your hit. <coughs> For like two minutes, you just coughing up smoke. Come on, some dragon tail shit. But, smooth criminal, Mike Jack criminal. <coughs> Polo G, I don't know if you watched the Rolling Loud performance. If you watched the Rolling Loud performance, he performed this song. That was my first time ever hearing it. I watched Polo G's Rolling Loud performance in New York City, and he performed Smooth Criminal. I was like, ooh, this is fire. Crazy. Probably not going to get this cleared for an album or nothing. It's Polo G that we talking about. He got it cleared. We got a video to the song and everything. I'm like, bro, I don't know how some of these young dudes is getting these shits cleared. I don't understand. Like, Sleepy Hollow and Polo G, two niggas that I'm like, bro, y'all got crazy, crazy, crazy pool. Because y'all be getting shit that, y'all be getting shit cleared that I don't know if anybody else could do it in your, in your, at least in your group. Like, bro, I remember they were giving Nicki how I forgot what song it was a couple years ago that Nicki said she had to, like, redo her whole album because they wasn't trying to clear sample. Polo G and Sleepy Hollow, I don't know who they plug is, but but they got the plug. The video is not long either. It's only a minute and 58 seconds. It came out November 12th. It's already at 3.4 million views. Polo G, Bad Man. Sample Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. It's currently number three on trending for music. I was like, now nah, we gotta get this. It's gonna be a quick one. I just wanted to get through this with you guys. I'm actually interested to see this. I was like, I'm interested to see this. I saw his Halloween costume. Polo G's Halloween costume was Michael Jackson and shit. I don't know if they were shooting this on Halloween day. I doubt you got in that costume a couple times. So I'm assuming that they were probably shooting that shit this week in the week of Halloween when he ended up releasing his Halloween costume and it's blatant like the beat is blatant on this like that shit is blatant I gotta show my mama this like she gonna probably fuck with this They had to blur out the gang violence, good shit, because you'd have had a whole bunch of white boys on the same gang signs and all their Instagram pictures, good shit, you blurred that out, one. Two, I'm loving this beat, I don't know if it's the old head in me, I don't know if it's the Michael Jackson fan in me, I don't know what it is, but they did they shit with this. We need to see who the producer is for after this, no bullshit, we need to see who the producer is after. I like the video so far, you get me, got that smooth criminal feel, but just a lot more Chicago, like modern A Chicago feel. I know, yo, my guy Polo G is really demonstrating how much of a star he really is on this track, I'm not even gonna hold y'all, this shit is fire. And no piano on this as well, so I don't wanna hear no piano jokes, no piano on this as well. Even when around in the streets, so, so you better look both ways, make your soul shake, even standing in the doorway. Tell me any how you okay, screaming out no way, tell me any how you okay, still on that board. Yo, that shows you the difference with today and back then, though. That's a flex today. Back then, that wouldn't be a flex. One of the hottest in the game, and I never dropped a mixtape. That that that's a flex. I I could say that's a flex from my time, though. I'd be like, nah, bro, that's not a good stat. We wanted the mixtapes. Like I remember those days, and I was like, yo, fuck the album. What? An uh, album's coming out next week. Fuck that. I want the mixtape to promote the album. That's what I want. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mixtape era. Mixtape era. Mixtape era. I'm aging myself. Myself. I'm aging myself. DJ Clue, I'm aging myself. Well, they get that boy to fold them chairs. And I like the little switch up in the flow. Like, that shit is fire. Once again, showing us different skills he has. Different skills he has. Still rapping. He's not even really singing. Still rapping. But spitting, changing the melody, changing the flow, and giving it a little bit of that. A little bit of an R&B feel. A little bit to, a little bit to it. But he's still spitting them fucking bars. Polo G is one of those. I be telling you guys. Polo G is one of those. I would a big bang. This old. Chill, hold on, I gotta go back. I try to pause it. I was about to say, no way in the fuck he's not gonna clean these with him and throw that bottle. No way in the world he's not gonna clean. Yo, he grabbed the bottle when it performed. Like, I told this nigga, he's not okay. He's not okay. You better not move there, Eddie. I told you not to move, Eddie. Pow! Like, el diablo sin para muchacho. Jesus Christ. Hold on, we gotta go back to this. Bro, he winded up like Randy Johnson back in the prime. He winded up like Randy Johnson right here when he killed the bird. Like, y'all remember when Randy Johnson killed the bird? Bro. This is the second one. This is the same windup. It's the other part. Boom. Woo. Nah, he hit him with the okay. Eddie, are you okay? His people said, Eddie, are you okay? 
Are you okay? Yo, Eddie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Eddie? That's how they had to talk to the nigga Eddie, because Eddie was not okay. Eddie caught a fucking blam to the forehead. Hey, you got butterfeet in this bitch. To the friends and family and fans of Michael Jackson and his estate, I'll definitely see. I, I feel included in this. What is he going to say to me? Fans of Michael Jackson? Bob. I'm a huge fan of Michael Jackson. I'm a huge fan like many of us are. Like many of us are. We are truly grateful for all your support in the release of this song and music video. MJ is loved all around the world. We use this opportunity to represent this song for the future. We thank you sincerely and we hope we con we contributed our small part uh, a small part to the everlasting memory and legend of the greatest entertainer of all time. Thank you, Polo G. Thank you, Polo G's publicist. Nah, this shit was fire though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna definitely like this. Yo, we not sub to Polo G. That's wild. Definitely gotta sub. Through that bottle, we had to drop a comment, you know that. Do that bottle in the end and hit Eddie right in the forehead. Bing bow. Quotations. Are you okay? Are you okay, Eddie? Yo, that was insane. Now he hit him with the cannon. That was a perfect pitch. That was the Randy Johnson. I had to add that somewhere around here. What you guys think about it? I loved it. As a Michael Jackson fan as well, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I love seeing when the young dudes pay respect. I love to see it. See, sometimes people be confusing because they be like, oh, y'all young niggas don't got no respect for our generation. Y'all don't be saying, y'all don't be giving the flowers to your OGs. And then when they try, and niggas out here copying us. They biting. They biting. Hence Cassidy and Tory Lanez. Hence Cassidy and Tory Lanez. It's like, damn, bro, I'm trying to give you your flowers and then you acting up crazy. Now I'm going to have to murder you on your own song. But in this one, this is perfect. I love to see it like this beautiful, dressed up and gave us a smooth criminal feel with a little gangster aspect to it. I loved it. Modern age, it felt it felt like today in Chicago. Like it felt like a, a regular day in the club in Chicago. That's what it felt like to me. I'm gonna visit Chicago anytime soon, hopefully. Hopefully, but hopefully I'm safe as shit. <laughs> But nah, this shit was smooth. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Was you a fan of this song prior? I'm not gonna lie. First time I heard this was Rolling Loud in New York. I was watching the live stream. I saw Polo G perform this. I don't really run to listen to all Polo G the first day it comes out. Like Hall of Fame, I think that was his album. I listened to that shit like two, three weeks late. And I'm like, I don't even know if this is on there. Like if this is on there, I'm like, yo, this is on this album. I was skipping through it. I'm not gonna hold you. I was skipping through it. I'm not gonna hold you. But guys, is this a track that you're... Is this a track you're happy you got? You finally got samples cleared. You got a music video for it. How do you feel? Is this one of yours? Is any of you guys, please, I'm asking this question. Don't feel crazy. Comment down below. I'm actually interested. Have none of y'all ever listened to Smooth Criminal before this? Like, was you born, like, was your next door neighbor Patrick Starr? Was y'all both living under a rock? But it's cool. If so, if so, please don't feel no type of way. I'm actually interested to know that. Like, comment down below. Even if you're from another country, like, who's Michael Jackson? Who's this guy already talking about? Who's Mr. Smooth Criminal? Like, if you one of those, please comment down below. I want to say R.I.P. to the GOAT. want to say R.I.P. to the legend, Michael Jackson. Oh, my God. I love, love, love what you did to music. I love how you changed it. And you changed my life and probably one of the people that made me actually fall in love with music. I, Michael Jackson was probably the earliest people I can remember, like, me banging off the wall, banging bad, banging all them shits, bro. Like, I really remember those days. I remember the time. You see, you about to have me my karaoke. Let me stop. Let's take a quick second to say, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. For real, for real. You never heard of Michael Jackson? Comment down below. You never heard of Smooth Criminal? Comment down below. And if you did hear it and you're from another generation, do you feel like he paid his respect right? Did you not like the song? Did you like the song? I'm about to be, I'm, about to, I'm thinking about making a video with like my mom's reaction, like that white boy that be having his mom. I'm about to play this shit for my mom. She loves Michael Jackson. Loves Michael Jackson. I'm about to play this shit and be like, do you feel like he paid his respect, ma? Do you feel like he paid his respect, or do you feel like it was disrespect? I'm about to interview her on some like one-on-one -on -one shit. We about to see what's good with that. But like I love to say, until the next one, we out here.